Okay, still at Walmart, uh, Panama City Beach, Florida. Just going to show you somehow yesterday, we haven't moved this yet today, but the one strap has come off my tire on the tow dolly here. I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know when. When we were maneuvering through the uh, parking lot at the restaurant we went to yesterday, we did catch the edge of a couple curbs and somehow something bounced or pulled or something. But uh, I'll have to resolve that before we go anywhere. So bear with me here. Let me get Miss Linda out here to jockey the car a little bit. We'll have to. It's. Uh, the tire is actually sitting on the strap now. It is rolled back somehow just a little bit from here but again with the pin in there with the other tire tied down we weren't in danger of losing the car but I certainly don't want to take it too far that way because if the other one should come off that car could bounce right off of there but anyway I can't begin to tell you why or how that happened but it sure has happened we'll have to resolve it before we go but once again I cannot stress enough the importance of a walk around whenever you stop. Now I walked around this yesterday after we stopped a couple times. That's the last place we did anything actually before coming up here was getting out of uh, parking lots. So anyway, I'll get that taken care of. Okay, I got Miss Linda here. She's going to help me with this. The car has uh, is far enough back on this side that the pin down here it's kind of tried to raise the. Uh, front of that up so the pin is binding because of the weight towards the back of the dolly. I'm going to have Miss Linda start the car. No, I can't get it out. You're going to have to pull it up just a little bit so I can get it out. Just a very, hang on just a second. I don't think I can. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me go ahead and take this strap loose. Then I will. I think I will. All right, pop the trunk. Let's put the blocks on and back the car off. <laughs> oh, the troubles we have. Yes, but what we have learned is do it right the first time. Well, we did it right the first time. I don't know what happened. Pop yeah. the curves, probably. It's because we're on the, yeah. so far so we don't drag the front of the valence on the front of the car so go ahead and back it off just go right back turn the wheel just a little bit right just just oh that's good all right back it right on off you're good they okay, go ahead and take it back and straighten it out some See this bed on here swivels for going around corners and we should have equal amounts of white showing on each side. Sometimes I can kick this and get it to straighten out. Sometimes I have to get a 
bar and pry it a little bit. Well, actually went a little too far. Then we'll remount the car, retie it down, and everything should be good. We don't seem to have damaged anything. Can you see the ramp? Just a tad to the left. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, come on up just a little bit more. The car will settle in the notches there, and that blocks it. And the bed comes down so we can put a pin in it. Then we'll reinstall the straps. And be careful going on over curbs henceforth. Sometimes you get in a tight spot, you just don't have a choice to go over a bit of a curb. Okay, now this is just like any other cargo strap ratchet strap. All right, then we'll go. Goes through the slot and spool. Spool down like that. Just up like this gives as much slack out of it as you can. Then you just start cranking it around on the spool. Right down now. Hopefully, it holds the tire in place. I already got my pin in underneath, so the two ratchet straps are the big thing. Hopefully you can see just how this works here. Hook goes in behind the tire, strap goes over the tire, front needs to be about in the middle of the tire. straps we'll have to check and tighten usually about a notch or two on those ratchets is all it takes and that goes down and locks that from moving so we've had them come loose before we never were really sure why but as long as the hook is settled in good here and on the other side as well we should be good to go all right now we're gonna head back down to the beach hopefully without any further problems and this wasn't really a problem this was more of a nuisance kind of thing so we'll get ready we'll go to the beach and talk to you later Anywho, be safe, do your daily walk-arounds, have a great day, I'll see you on the next video.